great caution, but I appreciate it. Ready? Yes, sir. Ready for the defense. Turn them in. Let's all rise for the jury, please. Speech off. Detective, just to turn the jury's attention back to right when we, we left off, we had just watched the video that um, said the defendant had accessed on his Lenovo computer. Um, what was the date that he actually viewed that video on the computer? It was viewed on June 13th, would have been the Friday um, before the death. So five days before Cooper's death? Five days before Cooper was like a couple. Now, <coughs> Detective, um, during the course of going through the defendant's emails as well, did you find other things relevant to uh, leaving children in car and things like that, uh, emails he had received? We did. Okay. I'm showing defense counsel what's marked. I actually have already shown defense counsel what I wanted to state. 643, 644, and 645. Detective, you can ask me to take a look at these. When you're done taking a, a look at those, let me know if those are emails from the defendant's uh, email account, his main email account, where he received emails on different days regarding uh, leaving children in hot cars. Yes, these uh, emails are all to rosshair00 at gmail. And are those actual printouts from the records that you have? Yes, they appear to be. And are not attended those exhibits at this time? Any objection? No, we don't object to that. Admitted. Okay. Now, Detective, first of all, I'm going to start. States Exhibit 643. Who is that an email from, and what is the date? Email is from the subject is oh, I'm sorry from Leanna Harris okay. on 1-30-2013 at 1:38 p.m. So that's January 30th of 2013. I'm um, going back over a year before this incident. He received an email from her. Correct. And what was the subject line of the email? The subject line is "Don't be this dad." And what was included in the email? Um, a link. And what was the link to? The link is to a myfoxandleanna.com story. Um, New York dad forgets baby in car for eight hours on a cold day. Going to States Exhibit 644, um, is this an email that the defendant received? And then, what? if so, what is the date and time? This is another email to Ross Hare, 00, zero at Gmail. Um, it's from Quality Care for Children on 4-17-2014 at 3.05 p.m. April 17th of the, uh, 2014. Okay, and what is the subject line of that, and what is the, the general content of that email? Subject line is, look again, a message from right from the start, Georgia Department of Early Care and Learning. And what does it discuss? Right from the start discusses that, dear parent guardian, it starts out by saying, um, when is she seriously, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, seriously jeopardizing the health and safety of children in and out of the child care is leaving a child unattended in a vehicle, often resulting in a serious injury or death. Is that the general nature of that email? Yes. Now, States Exhibit 645, um, what is the date of the email and who is it from? This message is from 5-13-2014, 3.42 p.m. Um, and it's from Quality Care for Children also. Okay, it's May 13th, just a little over a month before Cooper's death. Correct. Okay, and what is the uh, nature of that email? It says, this morning, Lennon is reported that yesterday <coughs> another child, a two-year-old at Clarkson, Georgia, died after getting locked in her mother's car. And does it talk about the dangers, again, of leaving a child with a hot car? It doesn't. It talks about look again. All right, thank you. Now, did you also uh, receive uh, work emails from uh, 
the Home Depot regarding the defendant. True. Okay, I'm going to show you it's already been marked for identification purposes as State's Exhibit 314. Well, first of all, Your Honor, I'm going to tender State's Exhibit 314 pursuant to a business record certification as Home Depot work emails belonging to Home Depot employee Justin Ross Harris. Um, it's been certified uh, pursuant to statute. Any objection? Uh, again, Judge, I think the foundation uh, looked appropriate to get the certificate, um, but I guess my objection would be. The other, the other basis of objections I've made throughout the trial on 403 and character one. And they're noted for the record relevance? Actually, no, these are records intended to be, uh, I think, gone into by the defense earlier. These are actually the defendant's work emails. Defendant, uh, uh, the detective got those emails through the course of his investigation. I only submit and ask about emails that may or may not be relevant uh, to the case at hand. All right. <clears throat> Intender states exhibit 314. Uh, now, Detective, did you get uh, did Home Depot provide you all of the emails uh, from the defendant via his work email? They did. Okay. And just going to the early morning hours around 12.40 a.m., did the defendant actually uh, send an email via work? He did. Okay. And what was it in regard to? You remember the exact nature. Okay. Did he send an email at 12.40 a.m. about a project he was working on and that he wasn't able to actually do it or complete it? That's true. Okay. Now, before 12.40 a.m. and after 12.40 a.m., as far as looking at his text messaging, uh, kick messaging, and whisper messaging, did he continue sexual conversations both before leading up to that, continuously, and after that uh, for at least another 10, 12 minutes? Yes. Now I'm going to turn your attention to, uh, in this case, you've got uh, uh, reports and an extraction from an iPhone 4, which was the defendant's work phone, correct? Correct. And then also from defendant's personal phone, the iPhone 5, correct? That's correct. Okay. Could you tell the, the ladies and gentlemen of the jury first about the iPhone 4? Were you able to get much information uh, extracted from that phone? No. Okay. Did it appear that there were... Uh, was it a limited amount of calls that were still on that phone? Sure. Okay. Uh, were there some relevant to other witnesses that have testified that we can go into in a little bit, though, that were still reflected on that phone? Yes. Okay. Going to the iPhone 5, uh, back in 2014, uh, did you guys do a, an initial extraction and a report was done using Celebrite? We did. And at some point, did uh, high tech go in? and perform an updated, with updated technology uh, extraction and report, or not an updated extraction, but a new report using the same material obtained back in 2014. That's correct. Okay. Now compared to, let's start with the, the Whisper app. Uh, back in 2014 when that was done, were you able to, well, first of all, were you able to identify that he used or there were things from an application called Whisper on his phone? Yes. Okay, and what did you, how did you locate that? How did you find that back then? Uh, what did you notice uh, about the phone and some things that you were finding? Several images were saved um, to the phone, um, and they appeared to be Whisper. Um, once again, it's been explained already, but, you know, the Whisper app where you can put your whispers or your secret thoughts out there on the Internet. And at that time, did you actually look into uh, what Whisper was and try to figure out if you could ascertain uh, how to get records and things of that nature. We did. In those those specific um, images, did you find one in particular note, uh, an image that was on his phone from the morning of June 18th, 2014, the morning of Cooper's death? We did. Okay. And which uh, image was that in particular that we've already seen here? It's the one from Always in My Feelings, okay. um, Married with Children. Okay. And is that the one with the red background? I hate being married with children. Yes. Okay. 
Now, at the time when you, when you first discovered that in the images back in, um, gosh, was that after the probable cause hearing at some point? Yes. But, okay, before the summary you discovered that image? Yes. Okay. And in this case, after the probable cause hearing and after indictment, has there been a ton of information and evidence that you found since then relevant to this case? Yes. Okay. Now, when you initially saw that first, that, that image, did you uh, have any, did you want to track down and figure out if the defendant created it, viewed it, or something else? Of course. Okay. And what did you guys try to do initially uh, to ascertain as to whether he created it or whether he viewed it, at least, on the morning of June 18, 2014? We did access the phone to look at the Whisper, see if we could find a Whisper app on the phone, to see if it was still saved in that Whisper app. Did you find any application uh, at Whisper on his phone? No, we could not. Okay, D Kick, could you find any application, the Kick application on we his phone? We did not find the Kick application either. After looking on the phone to try to locate if he, how he used this application, computer, phone, whatever, um, did you then look at the image and try to look at the details or properties and figure out, uh, is this something he, he actually viewed? Is it something that popped up on there? Is it something he created? Yes, we did. And when you, you sat around, who did you talk with and bounce ideas off um, regarding this? We talked to Harvey Smith. Um, of course, he's already testified in this hearing in this case, um, trying to figure out where this came from. We ended up doing a court order. Well, did you think there was a possibility initially that it could have been the defendant? It was possible. Okay. Based on the context of what was posted, um, was there also some suspicion that it wasn't the defendant? Yeah, because it, it said multiple kids and, you know, my children as opposed to, you know, my child. Okay, so it's plural as opposed to... As yes. Okay. <coughs> um, at that point, did you contact Whisper at some point that summer in the month or so after the probable cause hearing, a month or two, uh, to try to figure out how you could go about obtaining records? We did. Okay, and what did you learn and what did you do in response to that? With Whisper, you have to send the actual post. Um, you can send them the actual Whisper. Um, they will track all the Whispers that are attached to that you know, specific Whisper. So we actually took that one the old, from the Always in My Feelings, and that was sent off to Whisper under a court order. And when you sent that off, were they able to give you records for that user? They were. Okay. And what did you find out about, were you able to identify specifically who that person was? No. Were you able to figure out that definitively the defendant was not the one who wrote that post? That's correct, yeah. Okay. He did not write that post. Okay. How did you figure that out? Going with the rest of the, you know, rest of the post on there. Um, it sounded like a, a wife um, who was in an unsatisfactory relationship. And <clears throat> was this pretty soon after you guys started discussing? About how long was it after uh, you guys started looking at this image on his phone? That wasn't very long after. Okay. Like a month or two, something like that? Or yeah. do you have an estimate? I had an estimate about a month, maybe. Okay. At the most. So you get it, you find out it's another user. At this point, again, did y'all start trying to figure out, hey, has the defendant actually <coughs> viewed this? Correct. Okay, would you, would you found that relevant that he viewed this post on the morning of Cooper's death? Yes. Um, at that point, had you kind of hit a dead end, was there anything further as far as what y'all were doing that you could figure out to try to locate any records for this or if there was any type of messaging whatsoever? Yeah, we haven't done, we're done. Okay. Did you have any idea that there would have been messaging as to this message at all? Anything on that phone at that point? You know, talking to Whisper, they said that you can't comment on the different Whispers, and so we believe that there's comments, possibly, um, but we couldn't find any. All right. <coughs> so, did there come a time, I guess, in summer of 2015 uh, when uh, High Tech was asked to then go back and look at it again? Correct. Okay, and did they actually look at the phone again, or were they, as far as the Celebrite that was run with the new report, did they use the same extraction pulled from 2014? They used the same extraction. And what, what was the purpose? Why did, we go, why did they go back into it to try to look and verify? Celebrite is a program that is used to, you know, it takes the data and kind of sorts through it. Um, there was an update to Celebrite, and so Detective Smith said, well, let's go ahead, we'll just run it through the new Celebrite and see what information comes out of that. When you did that, were you act, act, able to get a, I guess, a ton of more information from the phone on the next Celebrite report in 2015 than you were from the one that you had uh, before probable cause, after, and leading up to indictment? Yeah, there's a lot more detail. 
Uh, were you able to, in the midst of this, were you able to actually go through and see, um, uh, recover text messages between the defendant and his wife and statements he had made to his wife in the months leading up to this? Yes. Okay, Detective, I'm going to show you what I marked for identification purposes of state's exhibits 637 through 642. I'm just going to ask you to look up through all these first and let me know when you've finished uh, looking through them. And then let me know, are those messages, uh, some messages that have been extracted from the phone uh, regarding the defendant's conversations with wife and statements that he made? appear to be um, between Leanna Harris and the defendant. And are those from the phone exactly? Yes. Okay. Now, <coughs> were there many, 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 many other text messages between them back and forth? Yes. And are these just ones that have been selected out for specific purposes? That is correct. Your Honor, I will tender those exhibits at this time. Any objection? All right, Detective. I'm going to start with. States Exhibit 637 and 638. Uh, going together. Um, looking at 637, I think this is the first part of the conversation, going into 638. I know we talked about um, did you, some earlier text messages. Have you learned that the defendant was actually uh, applying for a job with Chick-fil-A and um, about a little over a month before the death of Cooper? That's true. Okay. And at some point, um, does he discuss that, how he's feeling about that on May 9th uh, regarding the interview with Chick-fil-A? He does. Okay. I'm asking to start at the bottom of page 637 going to 638. Um, the defendant at 1145 asks his wife what's wrong. All right, 5 9 2014, 1145 um, a.m. Um, from the defendant, what's wrong? Leanna Harris, I'm just frustrated about my div hours, DIV hours. Okay, and let me ask you to stop right there. Do you know where uh, she was working at the time? Um, at that time, I still believe she was working um, as a dietitian. Okay. And do you remember the name of it? Davida. Okay. Okay. Her her DIV hours. Um, <coughs> what uh, what was the follow up to that? So he says not enough, and by he I mean defendant. Leanna responds, no, the allocation of it. And it's like we could talk later. Defendant having issues. Sorry, defendant. Sorry, I'm depressed today. I haven't heard from Chick fil A, and that worries me. Leanna, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sure it's nothing. Defendant going to get Cooper. Leanna, okay. Smile face emoji. Leanna Harris, I'm texting you a number so I can click on it and then call. And defendant says, okay. Um, she sends him a number, 912 number. Leanna says, I'm at the movies. Thanks for letting me go on short notice. Love you. Um, defendant says, no problem. Smiley face. Is that the extent of the conversation yeah. about Chick fil A? Yes. So he's, he's worried about the Chick fil A. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, I'm going to turn your attention to. Okay. States Exhibit 641. Now in this, in addition, there are a couple of things that I think we've discussed that uh, were brought up in this text message, okay? Um, first of all, uh, we talked a little bit about May 12th and how you could figure out that when the car seat was actually put, the 
the forward-facing car seat in the defendant's car. Correct. Uh, May 12th, State's Exhibit 641, does this reflect uh, that conversation? Starting at the bottom at 7.48 a.m. on May 12th, message from uh, Leanna Harris. It does. Okay. And what does Leanna Harris text him at that point? She's like, call me ASAP, ASAP. Okay. And what was the defendant's response? Or did he respond, or what was the next message? Um, she says, she starts talking about if I turn around now, it'll be more than an hour if I can get home. Um, she says I have the car seat. She's like, you have the option to either install the car seat, the other car seat, or work from home. Now, at this point, what are these times of these texts, and has the defendant responded yet? About 7.50, 7.54, you have the options to install the other car seat. 8.09, I would just install forward-facing, that would be easiest. 8.24 a.m., I'm sorry, I screwed up this a.m., at that point, has the defendant messaged her back at all? No. Do you know if he possibly called her or not? No. Okay. At some point, what is, it, what is the next message regarding the, uh, the car seat? 843, the defendant tells her Dan and Aaron had Joe facing forward during football season. And he, then he states right afterwards, Cooper will, Cooper will be today. Okay. I see no other option. If we're in an accident, that thing is in double. In double? In double. Okay. It's in double. Um, man, it's like, cool, I'm sorry. I think he's ready for it. Defendant, I'm so frustrated this morning. I want to scream, and I'm hungry. And Leanna's like, because of me? And she's like, no, you're hangry. Defendant's like, no, just that damn car seat. None of the clean shorts he has fit. My science is sucked today. Work stuff is being stupid. I'm just now getting him to daycare. And that was at 10.09 a.m. Then he states at 10.19 a.m., sorry, I was taking Cooper inside. Leanna's like, call me. Defense like, I will be, I will after my meeting here in a minute. And what does he say about it, his meeting that morning? I'm going to keep my mouth shut in this meeting. And she's like, okay. And then at 10.23, he states, I'm just in a foul mood. Leanna says, I'm sorry, it's my fault. He's like, no, it's not. I'm just very overwhelmed today. No go with Chick-fil-A. That was at 10.56 a.m. Great. I wonder what's next. And Leanne's like, call me. So at that point, um, when we talked about the car seat and things like that and the defendant uh, not getting a job at Chick-fil-A, is all that reflected in that text? That is. Okay, thank you. Okay, we talked a little bit about um, vacation discussions between them, them being defendant and his, his wife about their vacation for Memorial Day. Um, <coughs> I'm going to show you State's Exhibit 642. Could you please um, talk about the times and who is messaging who in this conversation about Memorial Day? It starts off with Leanna Harris. This is at 5-6-2014, 1253 p.m. And, and what does, how does it start out? And she's like, I'm sorry, um, frowny face emoji. And then there's nothing in his response. Leanna Harris like, I don't know what that is. Didn't your brother say they might come this weekend? Defendant, Jason asked me if I'd go to Tybee Island Memorial Day weekend. They weren't sure. In, in, in Savannah. And Leanna's like, I'm not sure what to say. I'm sure it's not free, so what do you think? Leanna, I've spent too much time away from him over the past month. Um, Friday face emoji. What do you mean? He will go with us. And who is that uh, from? And that's from Leanna also. Okay. And then the next message is from the defendant. It'd be nice to get away and sew something fun. Just go, just have to figure out the Cooper situation. And then he says, no without him. Okay. Leanna, it's like, brother issue, I don't know you care. And I know you don't care. I really don't want to be in a swimsuit. And she talks about being in a swimsuit. Um, okay. He comes back. They talk about wait a little bit. He comes back and says, I just think it's nice for us to do something away from Cooper. Okay. And Leanna's like, um, I wish we could do it with friends we'd ever see, like Billy. And she talks about some family. Thank you. Now, just regarding, um, I guess, defendant and his ability to uh, 
able to smell the sun and things like that. Uh, did you, is there a text in here from May of 2014 about that? Yes. Okay, I'm showing you States Exhibit 640. Just going to ask you to read uh, the first three messages, the time and date on that. All right, this comes from defendant. Um, 518, or I'm sorry, 58, 2014 at 1.19 p.m. He farted this morning while I was putting him in the car seat. I almost threw up. I thought he pooped. All right, now <coughs> we talked earlier, we've, we've talked about um, uh, well, in your investigation, do you, uh, do you remember the investigation regarding uh, a woman by the name of Daniela Dower? Yes. Okay. And uh, on May 31st, the defendant uh, allegedly going to uh, pay for sexual services from her. Yes. Okay. Did you recover any text between uh, Leanne and the defendant where the defendant is telling her what he's doing that day and where he is during that time? Yes, I did. I'm going to show you States Exhibit 639. Starting at, on May 31st, let's just start with the first message. Let's cover it off at 9.19 a.m., who it's from, and what time and what they are actually sending, okay? Right, you want to continue on after that? Yeah, and just start with that and go on to the next few pages and tell the jury what those texts say. Okay, this is coming from Leanna. Um, 531, 2014 at 919 a.m. What's the passcode to the pool? Defendant answers 425, yay. He sends a picture, possibly a truck. It's kind of small. Okay. From the, te from the text, of, or the, uh, I guess the, the context of these texts, what was he doing that day? You said it was a truck or something of that nature. For the context, it looks like he's helping us today. He's helping Alex move. Okay, you can continue now. After, after that picture was sent of a truck, what, what is the next conversation? Um, Leanna says that's not a real truck, LOL. Looks like one of Coop's trucks. Now our truck, that was a real truck. Um, there's a picture that's sent. I can't see who's in it. Um, Leanna, and I get it, it's Kristen, LOL. Alex is looking like you. It's looking at you like, whoa, pretty lady. And is that in regard to that photograph that it's above? Yeah. Does it appear to be the defendant and somebody else, another girl? Yeah, it's really small, but okay. I believe it is. Okay. And after uh, Leanna makes a comment about uh, Alex and how he's looking, uh, what, how does the defendant respond, and what time would that next message be? Um, 11.40, rambling, running to her, and the F.A. that just quit. 11.40, Leanna's like, oh, Christine. Um, 11, at 1.55, he comes back, moving sucks, the defendant does. So he, when you say he comes back, he messages her, moving sucks. Yes. Okay. How does she respond, or what, what happens next? He talks about, although a small Penske parking that thing in Midtown, holy crap, we're going to get in Alex's pool. What and time is that? Message? This is all at, uh, the last message is at 2.14, um, 5.31. Okay. After he talks about getting in the pool, what's the next text or conversation? Yeah, he responds, well, when are you coming home? It kind of sucks spending the whole day alone. And that's at 2.30, 2.33. He says very shortly, 2.34. Okay, so at 2.34 he says he's going to come home very shortly. Correct. Okay. Uh, what is the response after that? She says okay. And then at 2.46 she says, I think we may go back down to the pool. Gloria's nap time is over. And then he responds, oh, a nap, that'd be nice. Leanna asks him, what will we eat for dinner? We have no meat. Defendant's like, I'll get a meat, chicken. She's like, no, get beef and let's make spaghetti. She's like, I don't know. He's like, okay, I'm leaving soon, honey. I'm sorry, I'm leaving soon, honey. And what time is that message where he says, I'm leaving soon, honey? 302 p.m. Okay. We took the mini truck back. Leanna's like, we'll stop by the pool if you come home soon. And then at 3.55, Leanna's like, are you coming? Or she's like, coming home yet? 402, Leanna's like, hello. 402, he's like, the defendant states, yep, about to leave, going to my car. 434, just dropped Winston off, going to get beef. Leanna responds at 435, okay. They talk about, uh, Leanna asks, please tell me you aren't playing tomorrow. He 
Just like I am, frowny face emoji, 436. They okay, when you say playing tomorrow, let me, let me ask you this. Was this, uh, this day was on a Saturday? When he was That's correct. Him? Okay, so the next day would have been Sunday. Yes. And what does he play? What would he He play? plays guitar in his church band. Okay, so she asked him, I hope you're not playing tomorrow. Yes. Okay, and, and after that, what time is that message? That's at 436. Okay, and what is the next message after that? He's like, I am, frowny face emoji, 436. Leah's like, ugh, okay. I guess, Leah, I guess you weren't thinking about the fact that we're leaving Wednesday for four to five days. Friday face emoji, I've missed you today. And also, if you like crescent rolls, Cooper says, please. Okay, what time was that where she talked about uh, saying, I guess you've forgotten that we're going to be gone for a few days and we miss you? Or she missed it's you. at 4.38. 4.38 p.m., okay. All right, at 5.01 is when she says, and also if you would like crescent rolls, Cooper says, please, exclamation point, times three. He's like, defendant, LOL, okay. Defendant, leave the store in a second. It's 5.30. Anything else? 5.30. Man is nah. He says, okay. And what time is that? And that is at 5.33. 5.33. Is there anything further in that conversation? No. Nope. Now, uh, I'm going to show you what's been marked for notification purposes as State's Exhibit 646. And are you familiar with the uh, UTC codes and when something is in our UTC zero, uh, backing it up four hours to make it accurate? Yes. Okay. So if I show you something that's in UTC zero, you can basically compute what time it is. Yes. Okay. Showing you State's Exhibit 646. Detective showing you states exhibit 646. You recognize 646 as a, uh, a call log from the defendant's iPhone for his work uh, 470 number. Yes. Okay, and is that a fair and accurate call log from that phone that you guys got? It is. Okay, you're on our tender states exhibit 646. Admitted. And what was the number of the iPhone? This is actually from his, directly from his phone. Not from phone records or anything like that, correct? Correct. And what phone number did he have? He had, this is going to be his work phone number, 470-564-9087. Okay. And is that, the, uh, is that the number that actually came from the phone, or is that a number from a report? The number from the report. Okay. And whose report is that? No, the, this report is, my report says 470-564-9087. He's talking about his iPhone. His iPhone, yes. yes. His iPhone, my report. Okay. That's so the got, iPhone number. Okay. Not the one that Detective Escamillo put. No, Detective Escamillo, though, swapped out, it appears he swapped out the 8 with the 5, or the 5 for an 8. Okay. And did you verify the real number by doing the actual iPhone extract and from, uh, from looking at the actual phone? We did. Okay. And looking at the actual phone, looking at State's Exhibit 646, mm -hmm. um, this is in UTC zero, correct? That's correct. And when you back it up four hours from the time listed, would that be the accurate UTC number for purposes of when calls were made? Okay. Okay. Looking at May 31st, um, are you familiar with the phone number for Daniela Dower? Yes. Okay. And what is her number? 678-360-0318. And is her number listed in the call log from May 31st, 2014? Looking yes, it is. And at what have been 4.51 p.m., while he's in the middle of texting Leanna uh, back and forth, and she's talking about wanting him to get home, and they miss him and things like that? That's correct. First call to her is at, four, at her being Daniela Doer, 4.51 p.m.? Yes, sir. Should he make another call to her at 5.10 p.m.? He did. And does he make a third call to her at 5.14 p.m.? He does. 
while he says he's moving and running around and getting groceries, he's actually going to Objection see prostitutes. This guy. Okay. What was he doing? He was making phone calls to the down door um, who stated that she was a prostitute. Now, um, in addition to that, looking at some of the, the other numbers on the call log, Googling those, do they go back to escort services and things like that on different days? Many of them do. And also, um, Janie Meadows, do you see her number reflected here, the 706 number, uh, a call on May 9th and May 8th as well? I do. other follow-up questions now first about the uh, just the investigation uh, to start with when you looked at even initially looking at that first phone extraction the report on his iPhone 5 he being the defendants um, did you know uh, conversations with several other women on that day that were sexual in nature we did okay and did those messages some of them actually start and were messages sent before he took Cooper to daycare yes okay. and were they after yes so the statement were made that there was no sexting before Cooper was taken to, uh, taken to daycare. Would that be correct or incorrect? Objection. It's obviously reasonable. Thank you. You can go ahead. Is that would that be correct or incorrect? It would be incorrect. There was texting done before and after. Okay. Or sexting. I'm sorry. Okay. Would be better way to put it. So, <clears throat> as far as you knew back originally, um, before the PC hearing and then before indictment. Um, what you had was the kick messaging, and you had about how, how many women can you estimate that you thought at that time? Just that day, six. Now, once you recovered, uh, you had the new report that was done that actually picked up other messaging, and the did it uncover chats between the defendant and other people via the application whisper? Yes. Okay. And can you approximate uh, about how many conversations did he have going on that day on whisper and kick combined, starting at? 12 a.m. going until uh, after he dropped Cooper off? I believe the last time we looked was 37. And were many, if not most, of these sexual in nature? Yes, many were. In addition, I know we've talked about uh, the messaging both before and after uh, the 1240 uh, Google search and the 1240 work email. Um, starting up about, uh, did, did the defendant tell you that, that his uh, son had woken up early that morning? He did. Okay, and about what time, if you remember? 5.30. Uh, in that, around that time, soon thereafter, 5.40, 5.50, did the defendant, looking at his phone again, was he starting to message women uh, almost immediately after his son would have woken up? Yes, he was. Now, when he talked about his son waking up, in his interview, what does he say his son did? Did he stay up or did he go back to sleep? That his son went back to sleep. And did his son sleep later than usual? Yes, his son slept in. Um, after the messaging goes on, um, 5.40, 5.50 in that time, is there a break until about 7.22? There is. Does the defendant then start messaging uh, again on the Whisper app and then on Kick as well? Yes. Now we've already seen the, uh, the, the, the message and the, uh, what was found later by uh, detectives, and I think by Detective R.B. Smith, uh, regarding that whisper post and the defendant's responses back and forth uh, with always in my feelings, correct? Correct. And about when was it that that was actually discovered, that conversation? That actual conversation? Yes, just just ballpark. When was it that you guys actually said, "Okay, we now have this evidence"? You talking about the very first time we saw? No, it? no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm, that was very. It's getting late in the day, and yes. I'm getting more I'm unclear sorry. than you, less clear than usual. I can't even talk. All right. So, uh, when was it that you actually found out that he had had a conversation back and forth? When did y'all first discover it? If you can ballpark around what what year was it? First, 2015. Ball? And was it in summer, into fall, sometime when you found this out? I think October 2015. Okay. Uh, the second, I'm thinking when the second one was done. 2015. Okay. So well past probable cause hearing, well past indictment. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. 
So we've already looked at that and the time frames that morning relevant to Chick-fil-A and when he would have been driving and things of that nature. Um, did you also, uh, in the midst of this, discover other uh, chats or messages that the defendant posts he responded to um, regarding uh, his marriage, uh, leading a double life, and things like that? All right. <coughs> Also, did you, well, first, let me ask you this. During some of this messaging, where, did the defendant actually take screenshots, or did he send screenshots regarding anything regarding the laws of the state of Georgia? Yes, he did. Okay, and what was that? Age of consent. Okay. And was he actually sending this to other people he was messaging with? Yes. And what were these other people, basically, to show context of what he was saying, what were they saying to him? Well, some were saying that they, you know, they were too young or too old, and he would send the actual age of consent. Okay. Now, was this in any way relevant to the crime of sexual exploitation of children? No. Okay. And when he would send that, were they be, would they be screenshots? Yes. Okay. So, having done screenshots and searches for that, looking at his phone, did you find any web searches previous to June 17th? None that I found. Okay. So, there's nothing on the phone from that? Nothing that okay. I can find. Is that to say that he never did any web searches other than those two days? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you uh, regarding this, the, the age of consent and things of that nature. Uh, State's Exhibit 613. I've already shown it to defense counsel. Showing you what's been marked in, as State's Exhibit 613. Ask you to take a look at that. Have you, are you familiar with this uh, stream of messages to a whisper on January 26, 2014? Yes. And is this an actual printout of the text message or chat message on whisper between the defendant and uh, another party. Yes, Your Honor, I, uh, tender states exhibit 613 at this time. Um, I'm going to object on the uh, grounds that we have previously argued in addition to that. I'm going um, to object on uh, remoteness. I think he said this was from January 26 of 2014. And uh, I'm also going to object on confrontation clause grounds. If this is some kind of communication with someone who's not going to be in here to testify, uh, we wouldn't have a chance to uh, confront and cross-examine. So uh, on those constitutional grounds, Judge, we would object. First one, I think you've already handled, Judge. Uh, second objection, I don't think there's any remoteness finding in this. This was covered earlier as well. And finally, confrontation clause A, this is not testimonial. It's not made to police. There is no confrontation clause violation. And under Brandon and various other cases, it is admitted admissible as defendant's admission of the party opponent and the context put in based upon what the other parties are saying about it. Admitted over objection. Thank you. Okay, looking at State's Exhibit 613, first of all, in the back, is this the actual a whisper that he responded to? Yes. Okay, and just generally read that. What does it say? It was really serious when Sorry. he said he wasn't going to talk to me anymore. And the defendant responded to that. Says, I'm sorry. Okay. And uh, going on down, um, does he inform, say anything that identifies him as this is something this would be him responding uh, at 10:42 a.m.? Yeah, I'm waiting to play guitar at the second service of church. And later on in this conversation uh, at 10:53 a.m., does he say anything uh, that's sexual in nature? really horny <laughs> okay and this what how does this person respond uh, screen name Kiki K-E-K-E -K -E. she's like in church two exclamation points defense like I know doesn't mean I don't want it okay now I think the jury's heard enough of this the language and stuff like that but looking at uh, message at 1058 a.m. does he ask her a question yep he asks how old and does he follow um, with some sexually suggestive comment. You mean you don't want to give me a blow? What? Okay. I was going to ask you to just skim over that, but. Um, <laughs> thanks. You. All right. So uh, the response of this person was, what did they? What did she say or he say? Fourteen. What are you talking about? Fourteen. What are you talking about? And then do they go on about conversations in that regard? They they sex. Okay. Um, and does he respond at? 11.14 a.m. 
LOL, I don't want to go to jail, LOL. Okay. And then does he respond, and just these are all within the same few minutes, correct? Right. Okay, and she says, how would you go to jail? And then he responds, you're young. She's like, how old are you? He's like, too old, tell me. Okay. 26. She's like, smiley face emoji. Actually, probably wink. <coughs> You can't go to jail over a picture. Is that what she says? Or That's what, what says? she says, or Kiki says. He states, yes, I can, at 12.04. Sure, I'm sure it looks great, but that's a hard line to cross. And then does he ask her to show a picture of her, and she sends a, a, a clothed picture of her? She does. And do they go on to talk sexually, or he go on to speak sexually in this conversation? He does. Now, are there other conversations within the Whisper app where he's talking about the age of consent as well? Yes. Seems like that. Okay. <laughs> now, are there uh, other messages where he's talking about um, his, his wife and his life about wanting to be single and things like that? Yes. <clears throat> I'm going to show you. I'm going to go through a stack of these, and I'm just going to remain up here with you, okay? Looking at State's Exhibit 614, do you recognize this as a whisper conversation with a screen named Chrissy uh, from December 25th of 2013, Christmas Day, about six days or six months before the incident? I do. Okay. And is that a fair and accurate uh, report from his phone regarding that conversation? It does appear so. And it does it talk about... Um, his marital status and issues in his marriage. It does. Uh, Your Honor, Tender States Exhibit 614. Uh, all the same objections, uh, not just the previous objections to this, but um, the objections I made on the prior, uh, prior exhibit as well. If I can just have all of those objections, mm -hmm. I'll be stating that the court is going to do that. I'll, I'll incorporate them right now. Okay. And I'll um, allow the argument of evidence over those objections. Thank you. Prior All right, Detective. Um, <coughs> looking at the uh, the message that was posted, not by the defendant, um, what was the, the message that was posted? I'm doing something you shouldn't be doing. And does he respond? He does. What are you doing? And then what does he say after that? I do those a lot. What does Chrissy, the screen name, respond? Cheating. What does he say? I cheat a lot. Um, then what does she respond? That's not good. Or SMH shake my head. That's not good. Man or female. He responds male or man. I know it's not good, but I'm addicted to sex. And she's like, do you plan on getting married? He's like, I'm married. I know. I'm terrible. And then uh, does he go on to discuss uh, his anatomy and things like that? He does. Okay. And does he also go on, does she ask him um, if he has children? <clears throat> she does. Okay. And what does he respond? One kid. Okay. Does she ask how old he is? He does. And she does. Okay. And in the midst of that, is he again talking about his anatomy? He does. And then does he respond after talking about that with the age of his child? Yes. Okay. And how old at that time does he 16 say? 16 months. Okay. Does she ask him a question? Um, at 7, 17 p.m. Looking at the top, sorry. Are you something, why don't you just divorce, why don't you divorce your wife? Just a question. Okay, what is his response? Kid. And then what's his next response? And it's just sex. And what is her <coughs> response to that? Just sex, question mark, no it's not. And that's what she says? That's what she says. And then what is his response? I know, I'm terrible, I told you already. And then they go on about just random other stuff, not relevant to his marriage. <coughs> All right, we're going to show you what's been marked as shown to defense of State 635. Do you recognize this as a message between participant FP and the defendant from the Whisper application on starting on February the 3rd, 2014? And that's a fair and accurate report from his phone regarding a conversation he had with that user on yes, Whisper. Pearson. 
Your Honor, it's under State 635, uh, pursuant to the defense's prior objections. Any objections? All right. Now, in this chat, um, the post is, is not contained on here. Um, but looking at it, he responded to some post. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what did he respond by saying? I'd pay for it. Okay, and then what does that person respond? Where you live, he's like Marietta, you. They're like Woodstock. Defendant asks for a pick. Does the person ask something else? In yeah, the person asks, would you pay, by the way, I'm 17. He responds, yeah, you're legal. Person says, okay, how old are you? The defendant responds, 26. Now, at the time, was he 26 back in uh, February 2014? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then do they ask about paying again? Yes. And then what does he request? Yeah. Pick. <coughs> Is there conversation that goes on about her? That he doesn't want anybody, she doesn't want anybody mm -hmm. to find out she's selling her body and things like that? Yep. Okay. Does he actually send a photograph to her? He does. And you recognize the person in that photograph? I do. And is that the defendant? That is the defendant. Does she send a photograph as well? Sure. Or is a photograph sent of a girl? There is a photograph of a young lady. Now looking at it, do they discuss price for sexual services? They do. Okay. And does he send a, a photograph of his anatomy as well? Yeah, he does. Okay. And does, after that, does she respond about what grade she's in and things like that, or what school she's in? She does. Okay, and where does she say she's in? I'm in high school. What if you came during my lunch break? And does he then bring up the, the uh, app kick? He does. Now, does this conversation kind of go on about trying to set up a time to meet and things of that nature? It does. Okay. I'm going to move along. Are pictures sent from this person with her body? They are. I'm trying to skip along through. Is it all sexual in nature? Most of it that we've seen. I would say most of it. Now, starting that day at 6.48 um, p.m. on February 3rd, 2014, uh, the user that's responded that had posted that, what does that person say? Positive what you want me to do tomorrow. And what, how does he respond? Really risky. Okay. What does she say? The person says, tell me. And then without going into the details of what he says he wants to do, does he talk about sexual stuff? Yes. Yes. Maybe right. Saturday. Now, um, <coughs> what does she say? Uh, right here at 6.59 p.m. No, I'm actually really classy. I live two lives. Mm -hmm. That's why it needs to stay between us. How does he respond? The defendant responds, I have two lives, too. If she or the person responds, then we are perfect. And without going into the details of the sexual conversation after that, at 7.06 p.m., uh, what does he state to her toward the end of this conversation? What does want he know, say to her? Want to know how much if? Want to know how much if a double life I lead? Okay. Uh huh. So, okay. Is that the next day? Yes. Okay. Now, with these responses on here, looking at this, uh, are you familiar with, uh, I guess, operations by police and things like that, posing as underage girls yes. and things like that? Did, did that appear consistent with it? May not have been a, a girl. It may have been the police. Yeah, there's there's a, a few. All right, now I'm going to go to State's Exhibit 615. Turn your attention to this screen named Sweetness on January 25, 2014. Is this a fair and accurate conversation printout of a kick conversation the defendant had on that day? That's correct. Okay. Your Honor, attender State's Exhibit 615, pursuant to the defendant's previous objections. Now, let, let, me, let me make sure. The, the last one you said that you just went over, what number was it? 614. No, excuse 635. me, 635, yeah. And this is 615? Correct. Could you give me the date again, please? Uh, January 25, 2014. January 2014. Correct. Same objection. Same ruling. Okay. Okay. <coughs> and this message says, I'm still in love with my high school sweetheart. How do I get past this? Correct. 
Now, does he discuss uh, his family situation in this? He does. Okay. What does he say in this conversation starting off? Let me start here. Yes. Past what doll? Question mark. She's like being in love with somebody else. My husband and I both know we aren't in love, but for me, I stick it out for my kids. And what does he say? Defendant says, you're in my situation. Okay. Sweetness, dang, I'm sorry. What's your situation? Defendant married one kid, fell for another girl. Now I'm addicted to sex. That's a defendant statement. That's a defendant statement. Okay. And what does she say? She, sweetness says, nice. Defendant, I've ended up having sex with four girls in the last year. And what does she ask him? She's like, wow, so why don't you get divorced? And he states, kid. It's the glue holding it together. And what does she respond? She's like, that is true. And then what does he talk about? But my secret sex addiction is real. Okay, I'm going to show you what's been marked for identification purposes as States Exhibit 16. Luckily, this is a brief message. Um, do you recognize States Exhibit 16, 616? I do. Okay. And how do you recognize it? A, a message from screen neighbor Sweet Butterfly from the defendant's phone in the Whisper app. And is it a fair and accurate report of his conversation with this user? I do. Okay. You're on our tender 660. Thank you, Jason. And in this message, uh, he responds to a post that um, talks about uh, being a simple girl and sexual things in nature, correct? Mm -hmm. And what, how does he respond? Sometimes being taken sucks. And what does she ask? Sweet Butterfly says, I'll lie. And what does he say? Because I enjoy sex with different people. Okay. I'm going to move on to some other conversations talking about being taken and things like that, marriage. Uh, States Exhibit 617, uh, does this appear to be, is this a report regarding a conversation between participant LOL and the defendant on February 10th, 2014? That's correct. Okay, and is this, uh, do you actually see the defendant's picture on the first page of this? I do. Okay, you're on our tender stake 617. Same objection. Same rules. Okay. Now this post says, I think all females should submit to their men 21F. What does 21F mean? 21 year old female. All right. Do they go through in this conversation and start sending pictures and ask uh, uh, age, sex, and location? They do. And what does he say is age, uh, sex, and location? 26 is? male, actually 26 forward slash M. Marietta? And do they exchange pictures? They do. When they talk about whether she's single or not, um, he asks if she's married. Uh, she says, he says, luck, she says, no, totally single, and he says, lucky, LOL. Does she then ask him a question? Are you married? And what is his response? Of course. I'm over 22 on Whisper. Okay. And when he's talking about his, his uh, sex life with his wife, uh, does he talk about uh, the problem about her not wanting a strong, dominant sex life? Yes. Okay. And then he corrects it to dominate it. Yes. Okay. And then uh, looking at 8.43 a.m. on that day, does she ask him a question? At 8.34, why'd you marry her? Does he respond? We were great. But she changed. Okay. And is changed misspelled in that context? Misspelled. Okay. For the record, how is it spelled in this message? C-H-A-B-G-E-D. Is she jabbed? Okay. And uh, well, how does she respond when he says, but she changed? Oh, I see. Why don't you try counseling? And what, how does he respond? Defendant states we have, plus I kind of like being bad. When she says, does she ask him a question or make a statement to him after that? Well, you'll end up hurting her in the end. What does uh, he say about that? The defendant states, she's hurt me. She states, how? He states, therapy session, huh? Smiley face. And then does he say what it was, that he, how, he, how she's hurt him? Yes. Um, defendant states, just small things like forgetting my birthday one time. Move on to states is it a 618. Is this a, a 
report of a chat and whisper between Hurry St. Patty's exclamation, part, uh, exclamation point as the sender and the defendant on the whisper app. Correct. Okay, and does this appear to be a, an accurate report and readout from that conversation? It does. Your Honor, it's under 618. Chuck, I'm sorry, I thought the priority was 618. 617. I did, yes, it was February 10th. I got that 618. Three, uh, I was about to, it's March 10th, 2014. Now this post talks about sometimes, it says, sometimes I wish I wasn't married, especially not to him. Okay, what, how does he respond on March 10th, 2014? I hate being married sometimes too. I started cheating. And then what does she respond to? St. Patty's, I want to, I think, defend it, come over, my wife is asleep, I want to meet a girl outside, smiley face, LOL. Okay. And then do they go in, or does the defendant start going into sexual conversation? Yes. Okay, and does it end shortly after that? Yes. <coughs> States Exhibit 619 from April the 7th, 2014. Uh, is this uh, an accurate report of a conversation between uh, Butter underscore Nut as the participant, uh, other user, and the defendant on the Whisper app? Yes. Okay, and this is from his phone as well? Correct. Okay. Your Honor, I attend her state 619. Same objection. Same objection. Okay, this post says, yes, I'm a small girl and I love big, love big buff guys. Makes me feel safe next to them and who doesn't lie? Uh, love a nice body. Okay. The defendant, what does he ask? How little are you? And does she then give her uh, height and weight? She does. Does he then send a picture and she, I guess allegedly who she is, sends one back? Yes. Okay. Looking at uh, April 7th at 1.10 p.m., what does he ask her? Defendant, so how is a little cutie like you single? What is her response? I like to be, I like to be single, LOLL. How does he respond? Defendant, I kind of miss it. What does she say? I don't LOL. Defendant, I miss being single. Defendant, LOL. What does she say? Oh, LOL, well, go be free. Defendant, it's not that easy, LOL. I understand. Perfect. All right. States Exhibit 620. Is this a, another short conversation with an unknown participant on Whisper with the defendant uh, from March 24th, 2014, early in the morning, starting at 7.40 a.m. It appears. <coughs> and uh, this is a very accurate report from the phone of the defendant. Yes. Okay. Your Honor, tender states exhibit 620 at this time. Same objection. And same rulings. All right. Um, looking at this post, so just calculated the days. I'll be on my uh, period while on vacation. This means no sex with a husband. Score. Um, how does he respond to the question on that? Defendant, you don't want to fuck hubs? How does she respond? He responds. Um, she responds, no, I don't. What does he ask? Why? How does she respond? Because he lies, cheated, and verbal abusive. Divorce him. Is that what the defendant says to her? The defendant says to her, and divorce him. And then does he also say something else? But I understand. And then what does she say? I'm waiting for a little while, kids. Then what does he say? My wife should divorce me and has no idea but kids. States Exhibit 621 from January 5th, 2014. This is a very short message on kick with a username classic underscore K-D-K-A-T-I-E between her and the defendant from the defendant's phone. Yes. Your Honor, tender States Exhibit 621. Same objection. Same rule. This post says, I don't understand why anyone would ever want to get married. <coughs> what is it? Uh, what does the defendant respond? How does he say? How does he respond to that? It's okay. Sometimes I want to be unmarried. States Exhibit 622. Looking at States Exhibit 622, an unknown participant, the defendant messaging her in response to a post. Uh, is that from the defendant's phone? Is that a fair report from that whisper in his response? It is. Okay. Your Honor, tender states exhibit 622. Same objection. Admitted. 
Now this post is, says she's single and ready to mingle and has a girl's face. Okay. Now this is on May 19th, 2014. Um, a little less than a month before Cooper's death. At 6.44 a.m., how does he respond to that? Wish I was single. <coughs> Turn your attention to Stacey's exhibit 623, um, a message the defendant sent in response to a whisper on May 23rd, 2014, um, between participant Princess and the defendant on the whisper. Is this a uh, fair and accurate report from that whisper from that day? It appears to be. Your Honor, it's in your state's exhibit 623. Same objections. Same rules. This uh, post says, I don't want to settle down, 21F, and wanting to live it up, smiley face. Okay. Now, how does he respond to that? What does he say on May 23rd at 304? Defendant says, I settled down, kind of regret it. <clears throat> now, turning your attention to State's Exhibit 624, uh, a post message from the defendant between he and participant Dream, Dreamer of Another 2014 from May 28th, 2014. I uh, have viewed this as a fair and accurate report from a conversation the defendant had on that day with another user, dreamer of another 2014. It does appear to be. Your Honor, I would tender State's Exhibit 624 at this time. Same. Same. It's funny, everything gets shorter the longer we go, so, <laughs> all right. So, uh, the, the post saying, so tired of pretending to be happily married when I want nothing more than to start over with someone better. Uh, how does the defendant uh, respond to that post. What's wrong in your relationship? Oh, I'm a bit, I'm sorry, I went wrong. I'm a bit miserable too. What does the what, uh, dreamer of another 2014 respond? What's wrong in your relationship? The defendant, no sex, you question mark. And how do they respond? Uh, sorry, that could be difficult. Usually there's an underlying reason for that if it is a woman. And then he doesn't respect me. Defendant, why doesn't he? And then did she respond, and was that the last response? Yes. <clears throat> Going to State's Exhibit 625. Again, is this another short message? Uh, this time, March 14, 2014, early morning hours, uh, the defendant responding to a post from Delta Rebel. Yes. Is that from the iPhone as well, from the it Whisper is. app? It is. And is that a fair and accurate report of the conversation? It appears to be. Your Honor, I tender State's Exhibit 625. Same objection. Okay. Post says, I hate living with my boyfriend. I hate living with other people. I think I should just be alone most of the time. Okay, and how does he respond to that post? I'm tired of living with my wife sometimes. LOL. How does this person respond? Haha, -ha, does it really ever go away? I didn't used to be like this. I don't think maybe I was always annoyed. I just didn't care as much, ugh. And how does he respond? LOL, it sucks sometimes. Which she's like, ha, -ha I know. I'll turn your attention to uh, a post from January of <clears throat> January 21st, 2014, uh, States Exhibit 626. Is this a conversation between the defendant and his responses to a post by screen name user Spark Me Up? Yes. Okay, and this is a fair and accurate report of the conversation pulled from the defendant's phone. Yes. The iPhone phone. It appears to Your Honor, I tender States Exhibit 626. Same objection. Same one. Now this post says, um, I can't read the top because <clears throat> can't read the first line. But things to get crazy and out of control. I'm ready to just let someone have everything I have to offer. Okay, how does he respond at 6:18 p.m. on the 21st of January? I miss being single. Okay, how does that person uh, respond? Me toi, to I, I am miserable. What? Did, how does the defendant respond? I just want to fuck a lot of girls, drink a lot, and have fun. Does she ask him a question? ASL. Okay, and how does he respond? Age, sex, location, question mark, um, 33 forward slash M forward slash Marietta. And then does he ask any other questions of her? You, and then he sends a picture. Okay, is that the picture, a picture of the defendant? A picture of the defendant. Does that person then that he's responding with, respond with age, sex, and location? She does. And does he ask for a picture? Yes. Does she ever respond to his questions after that? No. Okay. 
You know, February 9, 2014, State's Exhibit 627, uh, conversation between the defendant and a participant called Lonely. Um, is this a fair and accurate report of the defendant's response and conversation to uh, user Lonely on the 9th of February 2014? Yes. Your Honor, I tender State's Exhibit 627. Same objection. Thank you, Your Honor. That post said, is it bad that I thought I was pregnant and when I found out I wasn't, I was kind of sad? I'm only 17. How does a defendant respond to that? You don't need a baby. It's not easy and expensive. And what does she say? She's like, I know, I know. What defendant, does she say? I love my son, but that joker drains my paycheck. And what does she say after that? Yeah, I understand. States Exhibit 628, chat message from February 22nd, 2014 with participant blank space. Okay, you review this and this is a fair and accurate uh, report of a conversation between the defendant and blank space from the whisper, whisper application from his phone. Yes. Your Honor, I tender States Exhibit 628. Sorry, I can get that date one more time. February 22nd, 2014. Any objection? Thank you. All right, this post says, ease my pain, but I don't feel anymore, so now sex is something that they're, that's there to make me feel like I'm needed for something. How does he uh, respond to that post? I have sex with strangers to block out a lot of my pain. How does she respond? Really? Defendant, yes. I tried last night, was rejected. How does that person respond? Wow, that's interesting, and damn. How does he respond? Defendant, yep. Plot twist. I'm married. How does she uh, respond? Dang, why not with the spouse? What does he say? Defendant, I like it. I like it with strangers. What does she ask? Why? Defendant, because it's like my drug. <coughs> okay. How does, what does she ask? Blank space. Wow, do they know? How does he respond? The girls, do they know I'm married? Question mark. That and dose your spouse know what you're doing? What does he Defend say? It. They knew I was married and don't hide it. My wife doesn't know. How does she respond? Lord, y'all have kids. How does he respond? One, how old? 18 months from the defendant. Aw, oh, from her. One more from this batch. All right, State's Exhibit 629 uh, is a post from January 24, 2014 between visual lady, underscore lady, and the defendant. Is this a fair and accurate report of the conversations uh, between her, him, the defendant, and visual lady from uh, January 24, 2014 from the Whisper app on his phone? It does appear to be. Your Honor, I tender 629. Same objection. Same room. Post says, can't sleep at night because I am full of anger and regret. What, how does the defendant uh, respond? What does he ask at 12.26 a.m.? Regret over what? What does she say? Wasting my life at inconsequential, I'm sorry, inconsequential things instead of doing things to be happy in the long run. How does he respond? I understand. Then what does, how does she respond? What do you regret? What does he say? Defendant merely marrying early. What she responds, say? one of mine is marrying late. And then how does he respond? Hmm. I have a sex addiction I've acted on. I kind of regret that. <coughs> Are we moving to another topic? Uh, yes, Judge. We'll work for the day. Ladies and gentlemen, close your nut pads. Move them in your drawing room. Let's remember our requirements. Open mind. No conversation with each other. Others don't let it even speak with you about the case. Absolutely no independent um, investigation. Uh, no contact. Attorneys, parties, or witnesses. Enjoy your evening. 8.30 in the morning. I'll see you. Let's all rise for the jury, please. <laughs>
will be a recess at 8 in the morning. Everyone have a good evening. Thank you.